Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about American Horror Story Episode 3, of course. First of all, let me just say, this is the week to be subscribed to me because I have two movie reviews going up in addition to this video. And I'm very excited about both movie reviews because I have some thoughts on them and yes, one of them is my IT review. And you guys have been asking so much about that. I went and saw IT a second time yesterday, so I will be filming my review very soon for that one, so let's keep a lookout for that. But anyway, today we're here to talk about episode three, American Horror Story. Now, I will say I am enjoying this show more and more as it goes on because there's a lot of depth, I think, to this season, even though it is political. I think it's actually doing a really good job of portraying the both, I guess both sides, I don't know. It's portraying the left, you know, the extremist left, I think, kind of accurately because there are definitely people out there like that in Allie and then also the two neighbors when they come and knock with the sombreros on calling her a racist for shooting Pedro in the last episode. So they do like, they don't even walk the line, they're like on the line, over the line <laughs> about like how they're dealing with express. I thought they were going to be a little biased, I'm not going to lie. I thought they were going to portray the right, if you will, in a horrible light and then be like touching like l light, you know, footsteps on uh, the left side, but they are going there on both sides and I think that is refreshing because I didn't think that they were going to do that. Ryan Murphy had been public about his support for Hillary Clinton, so I thought for sure there, were, there was going to be some bias in this show. So now that this episode's happened, the, the politics aren't that bad, but I don't like them in a horror sense. Like, I, I don't think that they're using them too much as horror now, but they're doing a lot of background with the politics because Kai and Ali seem like they're going to become allies. A lot of people comment on my videos, and I see a lot of reviews online, how much they hate Ali. They, everyone seems to be annoyed with Ali. And I think I might be the only one who's not. Um, she, I, I'm kind of surprised. I don't know why. I mean, yeah, she cries a lot. She overreacts a lot. But I think she's in, like completely misunderstood and everything is misconstrued. And she is just constantly, like everyone is attacking her. And granted, she's done things to provoke that. But at the same time, so many things about her situation are misconstrued and it's like, and now we get a little insight that her therapist is in on it as well. I had a feeling he would be because obviously he's a popular American Horror Story actor so he was going to have a much larger role than just her therapist. And I read a review online that really highlighted this for me and was like, oh my gosh, that's it. It's when the opening scene of this episode happens. So there's a patient of his who is afraid of coffins being um, enclosed in a space because she was as a child in a cabinet. And when she gets home with her husband, they're locked in coffins. And it, how would the clowns know about her phobia if the therapist was not involved? Which that opens up a whole new world of horror to me because obviously therapists, you're supposed to confide in them. You tell them your darkest fears, your deepest secrets, and to have a character in the show that is possibly going to use that against characters in the show is horrifying. So that might be one of the most scary parts of the show, honestly, to have like your therapist go back on you and use your fears against you. So he is definitely in on it. Um, there are rumors and theories that you guys came up with that Ivy, her wife, is actually in on it as well. I don't really see that yet. I don't really believe that. There was a, like a moment, I can't remember what it was, but there was a moment where I thought possibly, oh, it was when the um, kid was on the computer and they saw the scene of Ivy, or not Ivy, Allie and Winter in the bathtub. They actually filmed it or the clowns did or Winter did, who knows. Um, but the password for the adult lock thing was clowns and I thought that was weird to have her wife set up a password of clowns when she, her wife is so afraid of it. So th that seemed a little off to me, a little iffy that maybe she is like not as sensitive about it. She's obviously getting fed up um, and all of that happened towards the end and um, apparently Meadow died, but we haven't seen the body yet, so who knows if, they, if she actually died. Kai is also connected to Harrison and Meadow, the neighbors, 
so is he really an ally if he's like a cult leader and he's like partnering up with all these people that are in Allie's life who knows I didn't really have any issues with this episode I think I'm very happy that they're moving away from so much trypophobia I thought that was going to be a way bigger part of the show than it actually was um, and no trigger warning needed I'm not going to describe anything um, but there hasn't been any in the show for a really long time so besides the intro of course so that's refreshing I like that because as you guys know I'm not a fan of it and here let me just make a statement that one of you commented on my first video that got a lot of backlash about trypophobia, let me just tell you. Someone had commented that those who have serious trypophobia won't be able to watch the show and those who don't have trypophobia it won't affect them as a horror element. So that's why I think, that like sums up why I think trypophobia is a dumb horror idea because if it doesn't affect you it's not going to get to you it's gonna be just like there you know like clowns for me do nothing so those are just there okay whereas if you have it it's gonna make it super difficult to even watch the show and some people won't be able to watch it at all although now I think that you are able to if you have severe trypophobia because I have not seen it in a, in a minute so hopefully they don't put any in next episode as well we just get a little breather a little break um, but there weren't wasn't anything that I noticed in this episode unless you can correct me down below so yeah so far this season isn't really disappointing as much as I thought it was going to to be honest I know that sounds a little mean or harsh that I didn't have high expectations but that's just because you know in the last couple seasons it's you know mm. let me know your thoughts on this past episode down below and what your theories are about who's in on it what their story is obviously the clowns are connected to pretty much all these characters there's also a theory that these characters the neighbors the therapist Winter, Kai are all the clowns they dress up as the clowns to terrorize Allie and kill the people in the neighborhood so do you believe that do you think that's accurate let me know down below and i hope you enjoyed and i'll talk to you soon bye